Good day, grade 8 students! So, I'm Miss Aika, your math tutor. For today's lesson, you are going to graph a linear equation. So, we have three methods in order to graph a linear equation. The first one is using two points. The second one is using x and y intercepts. And the third one is using a slope and a point. So, we are going to discuss the first one, which is using two points. So, we have here this, this situation. Graph linear equation that passes through the given pair of points. So, what are those two points? So, we have here 2, 3, and 1, negative 2. So, first, you are going to make a Cartesian plane. So, syempre, one is vertical and the other one is horizontal. So, we have here the positive numbers sa right nung ating origin which is 0, 0 and negative numbers sa left nung origin. So, this is the x-axis. Then, we have positive numbers upward dun sa taas or above the origin and negative numbers below the origin. So, first, locate the point 2, 3. So, both of the numbers are positive. Where can you find it? Yes, very good. We can find it in our quadrant 1. So, 2, 3. So, hanapin nyo sa x yung 2, then hanapin nyo sa y yung 3. So, we, ha we have here positive 2, and this is positive 3. Then, we are going to connect them or meet them. So, this is their point. So, we have here positive 2, positive 3. Then, the second point, we have negative 1, negative 2. So, that is located in our quadrant 3. Very good. So, we have here negative 1 sa x, negative 2 sa y. So, negative 1 is on the left side and negative 2 is below the origin. So, we have this. We have the point negative 1, negative 2. Then, you will just connect it. So, once na na-connect na natin siya, yun na yung magiging graph ng ating linear equation. So, ganito po siya. So, you can use ruler para mas straight yung line ninyo. So, yan yung magiging itsura ng graph niya. So, from left to right, as you can see, it is going upward. So, it rises. Dahil, positive and negative yung ating given. So, kapag may two points kayo, makakagawa na kayo agad ng graph ng linear equation. Always remember that the graph of linear equation is a straight line. Okay, for the second example, we have graph the equation by making a table of values. So, hindi agad ipinakita yung given two points. So, you are going to solve for it. So, we are going to use y is equal to 2x plus 1 as our equation and you are going to put a value on x or y. So, kahit alin doon. So, alimbawa, sa x muna tayo. So, the values of x are 1 and 2. So, you will just evaluate it. So, substitute the value of x dun sa given equation. So, the first one, dun muna tayo sa 1. So, we have y is equal to 2x plus 1, where x is equal to 1. So, palitan lang natin si x ng value which is 1. So, that will become 2 times 1. So, y is equal to 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. That will become 3. So, y is equal to 3. Therefore, ang magiging ordered pair natin, x is 1 and y is 3. Then, for the second one, we have y is equal to 2 times 2. Kasi, 2 naman yung value ng x plus 1. So, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1. What will be the value of y? That will become 5. So, we have here 5. So, the second ordered pair is 2, 5. So, now, we can graph it. So, as you can see, more on siya sa quadrant 1. Kasi, all of the numbers, all of the points are positive. So, mas lalakihan natin yung space ng ating quadrant 1. So, depende yan kung saan mas maraming points. Kung saan tayo mas maraming makikitang points. So, positive numbers sa right ng ating origin. Then, negative numbers sa left ng ating origin. Positive sa taas ng origin or above the origin. And, negative below the origin or negative numbers below the origin. 
So first, locate the first point. So we have 1, 3. So this is 1 and this is 3. Always remember, the first number is the value of x and the second number is our y. So we have 1, 3. So ito yung magiging point niya. Then the second one is 2, 5. So 2, then 5. Ayun siya. So ito si 1, 3. And ito si 2, 5. Connect the points. We are going to form a straight line. So meaning, it is the graph of our linear equation, which is y is equal to 2x plus 1. So ganun kadali mag-graph ng linear equation. Basta meron kayong 2 points, automatically makakabuo na kayo ng isang linear equation. So see you again in our next lesson. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, grade 8.